didn't realize that I have an hour and 50 minutes sitting here at the uh, at the charging for te um, a super uh, charging for Tesla. So uh, rented a Tesla for the weekend here in LA um, just for Christmas and spending some time with the family. And I love the simplicity of uh, the car and all of the kind of little things that you, I get, I guess, get uh, with a technology first driven uh, car versus more of a luxury car. Um, but one thing <laughs> that they won't tell you is uh, if your in-laws or your family aren't into uh, electric vehicle, you're gonna end up uh, charging outside and not at home. And uh, here I am sitting at this supercharging station and maybe I'm not getting the supercharging um, option. I don't know what to pay <laughs> for, for this. I just plug it in and it's uh, charging. So maybe I'm not paying for the supercharging option uh, and that's why it's taken an hour and 15 minutes. But I guess this is one, uh, one thing you'll learn once you uh, drive more electric vehicle. Um, I've driven a bunch of uh, uh, Model 3, Model Y before, um, but uh, I actually don't remember how I paid for my previous trips. And um, I've got a, a, a Model X here for the first time, wanted to try it out with the family because I got two kids and I was hoping that this, this would probably have more space than the Y. And uh, this is a, probably about the same space and size as my CX-9 uh, with the seven seaters in the back. Um, the one thing I didn't actually realize is that this is not a full panoramic roof like the Y. And um, so far so good. This feels like a bigger car, but I don't know. I got to get back into the Y to... Um, to honestly remember but here we go we got an hour and a half to kill and um i'm probably gonna go for a walk later but i want to start a video to go over something that's been on my mind uh, which is how do you start and scale a 10k per month business on the side so my story so far i want to share with you uh right away before i ramble on for a, a, a two and a half minutes here already um, is I started a, a 10k per month business in a span of about six, more like eight weeks. I started in April, no, May. I signed up, I decided I'm gonna start a business in addition to my uh, full-time role. So I'm a sales leader at a SaaS a software uh, a company in the financial, um, in the FinTech industry, financial uh, technology. Um, and some personal things happened in April, uh, my dad passed away. I was on the plane back from Vietnam, uh, from Vietnam back to the States. Um, he was buried in Vietnam. And on the plane, I made a decision. Uh, this is in May. I made a decision that I'm going to start my, uh, what I call a freedom business. And I scaled it from zero to 10K per month in about eight weeks. Probably less, probably more, depending on what timeline, because I didn't collect all of the, the, the revenue right away. But it grew from zero to six figures uh, fairly quickly. And I was blown away for two reasons. Number one is I've always wanted to start a business on my own. Like I, I've, I've never been satisfied with one thing. And so even if I'm the vice president of one company now, uh, some days, I'm probably going to have something on the side. Um, I have this, I guess, incessant, never ending desire to do more and be more. Um, but I've always wanted to start something on the side, but I keep kind of like pay, playing it small. I was and still am, uh, less so, but still am. Um, uh, what my marketer friend calls me, I am like the info marketer's wet dream because I will buy everything, all the courses out there. Um, you name it, it's, if it's one industry, if it's anything that have to do with money, making money online, I've tried it. The only thing I haven't tried probably ever is affiliate marketing, but everything else, you name it, e-commerce, drop shipping, uh, well, e-commerce and drop shipping are, are basically related to e-com, um, Kindle, like writing books, digital publishing, uh, starting a web design business, uh, designing Teespring t-shirts. Actually, that's it. That is drop shipping. 
Um, man, Amazon FBA almost tried to, was gonna go to and publish like faceless YouTube videos. Like if there's an, <laughs> make money on like trading, if there's an uh, crypto, if there's an make money online opportunity, I probably either dabbled in it, tried it, or like consume a bunch of information about it. Uh, and I still am today, but I think that, um, anyways, why am I rambling? So I grew from zero to six figures uh, pretty quickly uh, with the business on the side. And I wanna talk about the fastest path, but also the most efficient path to get to, to 10K per month and beyond. Um, and I've talked about appointment setting before, and it's one of the very, actually really, really valuable way to, to start. And if you have zero skill set, you don't know what you're doing, you want more freedom in your life, I would start there first. But in this video, I wanna talk a little more general. And I wanna explain a concept that is really key that I wish that someone had shook, like grabbed my hand when I was first starting out in 2017. I wish that someone had like grabbed my shoulder, like slapped me on the face a couple of, uh, of times to kind of wake me up from, I guess what I was thinking about doing at that time and just really explain this one key concepts to me. And I think that will save me so much more time and so much more efforts. Um, and it's really simple, okay? So I've talked about this before. In order to make 10K per month in a consistent, reliable way where you are you make the money, but the business or the service or whatever it is that you do to, to provide real results and value for your clients or your customers uh, and make it sustainable. So it's not like, hey, 10K per month now and then you lose clients the next month or you don't do anything the next month. Uh, is you need a skill, right? Like you need a skill that is valuable and uh, like have value in the marketplace. Meaning that like, if you just wanna make 10K for the sake of making 10K per month so you can travel the world and do nothing, it can work, but it's not, it's gonna take time, right? If you wanna go from zero to six figures fairly quickly, I would say in like maybe 90 days, you need a skill, like something that is, is valuable, whether that's, you know how to get appointments on the phone, you know how to copyright, like write copy for people, you know how to uh, sell e like, you know, uh, digital products on the internet, you know how to sell, like, how, you know how to set up an Etsy store online and sell digital prints or whatever. Uh, meaning that you have to have a real skill that has value in the marketplace that either get other businesses results or getting results for you, for you or like making sales, right? Because at the end of the day, going from zero to six figures is all about can you solve a problem for somebody with a service or with um, a product, right? And there's really only two things in the world in, 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 in terms of commerce, which is either a product, whether it's digital or like a real product, like physical product, or it's a service where you either providing, you know, doing something for somebody as a service like pet sitting, right? You can make six figures sitting, like pet sittings for people, right? I've read, you know, again, in my side hustle uh, uh, search, I've read um, um, about people who do like 3K per, per day on a weekend, um, like house sitting, right? You can do Airbnb and make six figures. At the end of the day, it's like, hey, you do you, can you provide a service or a product that someone would pay for? And you can go from zero to six figures fairly quickly. But what I wanna talk about today is something that I wish, I might have to edit this video because it's 10 minutes in now. I um, Someone, I wish that my mentor, someone that I know, anybody who's successful in business have grabbed my shoulder and told me this from day one. It would save me so much freaking time and so much freaking money and years of trial and error and jumping from one opportunity to, to the other. So I'm getting to it now. So treat this as my, um, me shaking, I'm literally reaching through the screen here to grab you and grab your attention and shake your you and slap your face a couple of times. Here's, here, here, here it is, here's the secret. <laughs> 
as my mentor Dan uh, Bolton say, uh, the secret is, is there's no secret. But this feels like as much of a secret as, as, uh, as I, I, I uh, ever heard it. Okay, so here comes. On a 10 minutes mark, here goes. Here's a secret to online success and making millions. <laughs> um, so number one, there's two, there's two things to making six figures, even seven figures, and eight figures. Eh, may, may, maybe six figures, okay? Or uh, multiple seven figures. I've, uh, not, I haven't done this myself, but I've seen this in multiple businesses. So there is the skill of what you do, and then there's the talking about or getting attention to the thing that you do. So really explain simply, you need a product or a service, and then you need traffic, right? And uh, the the example that I can give here is, you know, you've all heard of the story of a of somebody who is a baker who who makes amazing pastries and they're just an amazing baker, and they start a business and they just struggle in business so much, even though their product is so amazing. And you hear about this all the time, right? Most small businesses, most most restaurants and small bakeries and uh, um, coffee and like most small businesses struggle because not because of their product that they're not amazing it's because they don't understand how to market and advertise so i wish that someone had shook me and said hey there's only two things that you need to learn to make six and seven figures by yourself with a small team which is number one get really good at what the thing that you do like the service and the product you offer and then second thing is get really good at getting attention and talking about things that you do to get more people to know about what you do. That's literally it, okay? And I know this might seem like, like so basic that if you've heard this before, but the problem with online advertising or like everything that has that's going on online with people teaching all sorts of different courses and ways to make money online is even if you go all the way to the top of the food chain, the most famous people like Russell Brunson, um, or Grant Cardone or whatever the, the, those, those names might be. And I'm not saying that they're not teaching this. I'm saying I wish somebody had shook me and told me, hey, this is what you need to know, is that number one is you've got the skill set, right? And that skill set is what you're good at and what you are able to do. So in my case, it's appointment setting, right? And uh, sales team management. Like I could set meetings myself and I know how to hire, train, and onboard, and keep, and manage, and lead an appointment setting team. So that's one high value skill set. Okay, I would put under that also the vehicle. So the skill set and the vehicle, and then the other thing is the, the getting attention or getting good about talking about what you do. So the thing that not that ninety nine percent of online gurus and influencers are not talking about is is this one thing yes you need to be good at this this skill set but you also have to be good at this other one which is getting attention and talking about what you do and so the reason why most bakers and restaurant owners uh and whatever that skill set is struggle is because they're really good at the skill set of what they do like baking but they are not good at all or they're not interested in or they don't understand or not willing to commit to the, the importance and the skill sets of talking about what they do, right? And so for years, I spent all of my time getting really good at that skill set, right? The appointment setting piece, the management of other appointment setters. And that, that limits and that caps my earning and even today in my role, right, I'm going to be capped at about $200,000 a year. Um, if I'm really, 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 really good and I play the corporate game really well, I can actually move on and make probably three fifty, dollars maximum 400000 a year with, um, with my skill set, which is appointment setting. Um, and that's not nothing to sniff at, right? It's a pretty respectable income. But I wish that someone had told me, again, going back to this, had I learned how to talk about what I do, which is talking about appointment setting, 
and getting attention, coupling with productizing my knowledge, I, I would be making more now, um, probably in the 500 to a million dollars uh, a year um, by offering what I know and what I do as a service and as knowledge and, and training and products and coaching to more and more companies. So I'm limited in my earning now, in my role as a as a an employment, like a full time job, to one company, right? And I can only make more by either moving to a better vehicle or better opportunity within that skill set, or um, like moving up in the same company and just doing taking on more uh, responsibilities, right? Whereas if I had learned and somebody told me to do this early on, which is how do I get a following so I can get attention and talk about what I do over here, then I can actually provide more services and products and maybe they are digital products in a more in a more scalable way to more people, right? Um, as opposed to offering that service uh, to one company only. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? But 16 minutes in and I still haven't explained to you <laughs> why this matters. Um, but trust me, if you're still listening to this, this is the most important concept that you need to learn going into 2024 and beyond, which is the reason why most bakers struggle and they, they, they have a really good product, pastries and, and cake and whatever they do, and they struggle in business and, 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 and they're poor and they like to make more money, is because they don't learn how to get attention. So what I'm trying to say is the vehicles, like how you make money does almost doesn't matter. Meaning it, whether it's e-com, whether it's drop shipping, whether it's uh, Amazon FBA, Teespring, Kindle, uh, what's hot today, um, SaaS, like starting a software company, starting a marketing agency, um, you know, creating content online, become a solopreneur, a one person business, whatever it is that is hot, think of that as a vehicle, meaning what is the service that you provide to the, to the, to the world? Um, it doesn't matter as much, as long as you don't have the skill set of how to get attention. So I know in 2023, the thing that was really hot was like Twitter writing and becoming a writer and online publishing. The problem that I see that most of the teachers about online writing is not talking about is you've got the skill set of writing online as a service or a product you might offer to somebody, but that's very different and entirely separate from how do I get attention online and offline about what I do so that I can provide my service to that attention right to people and those are two very separate side of uh, uh, skill sets so in my case I spent five years being really good at appointment setting and managing appointment setters but I never talked about what I do and how it can bring value to the marketplace to other businesses and in 2020 like four or six months ago when I committed to doing that like I'm gonna start a business providing what I do, my skill set to the through the world. I sign up to one of my mentors is Dan Bolton um, to to learn and work with him. And one of the things I learned from him is you just, you're already great here. You don't need to spend more time learning how to become a better appointment setter or a manager of appointment setters. You need to get good at the skill set of how do you talk about it, like the marketing, the lead generation side of this. And I wish that somebody had told me years before that instead of jumping from one opportunity to the next where you kind of dabble into e-com and you dabble into ebooks, whatever, publishing, or you dabble into SaaS and, and software as a service, or you dabble into like online writing, right? Or SEO, whatever the hell that service is. I wish somebody had said, hey, you should spend a year getting really good at the skill set itself and then and then there's, there's nothing else that you do, right? You just get good at that one skill set. You can get, you will get to six figures, like low six figures, like low five figures, like, you know, 100K, maybe even 200K, six uh, uh, per year, just being really good at that skill. Or e-com, right? Whatever that is, 
you're gonna get to six figures just by getting really good at one skill. But in order to actually create real freedom and create scale and like not work full time and like slave away at your job or your your thing, the second thing that you need to, to get good at is getting attention. And instead of jumping from one opportunity to the next, meaning that's exactly what I did. I jumped from e-com to writing ebooks to starting an agency to uh, getting a job. Like I jump all over the places looking for the secret, looking for the vehicle that will get me to six, seven figures with freedom. Whereas versus the real freedom comes from having a high valuable skill set that will get you to like, all right, I'm in control of my time and my day now. I don't have to go to a job. That to, hey, now I work whenever I want, wherever I want, with whomever I want, and I can scale my business to six to seven figures without working more hours myself. That, what it requires to get there, to get that, is the attention, getting attention online. Lead generation, um, personal branding, getting a following um, online, all of that stuff fall under that kind of marketing and copywriting piece. Even for copywriters, like I know a bunch of copywriters who are supposedly great in copywriting and it can't get clients, right? That's the crazy thing, which is if you are a copywriter and you write sales copy for the business, sis, it should be like super easy for you to get clients because that's the skills that you're good at, right? But it's just not true. Or like salespeople who can't get a job. Why, right? If you're a salesperson, aren't you supposed to be good at sales, at like persuasion and convincing people? And the secret, again, that I realized is being a good salesperson is a skill set and it's very different than actually getting attention online and, and generating leads and getting people to like buy your stuff or buy you, right? And this is also what I teach or I mentor um, uh, like sales and, and young professionals people, which is, some people are just great at the, the job, but they are terrible at interviewing and getting a job. And those are two very separate uh, skill sets uh, in and of themselves, right? Like I myself is a very good person who does the job, but I hate interviews <laughs> and I hate getting jobs. So those two are very separate. So 25, 22 minutes in, what am I trying to say? I wish that somebody had shook my, my shoulder, slapped my face and said, hey, listen, there's a vehicle where you devel develop your skill set and you get good at it. You can make five, six figures, right? But for you to have actual impact and freedom, location freedom, financial freedom, and like just you don't have to go to a job, you don't have to just stick to one business and, and, and or a freelancing thing, the second thing you need to master and learn is your... Uh, skills around how to get attention, how to build influence, how to uh, generate a following, a personal brand, okay? And then this vehicle doesn't even matter. Why? Because you see online all the times people who are doing well in e-com, in agency, in SaaS businesses, starting uh, a personal brand or like starting a, a ghost writing business, right? Um, and, and all of that stuff. Right, those are the different vehicles to get you from zero to six figures, and even like two to seven figures. Um, the second thing that you have to worry about very quickly is as soon as you get clients, even before you get clients, actually, I would say, even before you get clients, you should be getting good at actually personal branding, like the part on about getting attention. So. I had big plans for this video and I hope my message is coming through. Here's how you think about your, your online business in a holistic way, okay? And this is why most people will know, like I work in several different um, industries, like marketing agencies, uh, coaching, like health coaches too. Everybody struggles with the same thing because I think they don't understand or they're not making this mental distinction between the two. And this is why you see a lot of people say, I am a great therapist, or I am a great baker, or I'm a great coach. I just can't get business. I can't get clients. And it's because people are confusing the two, 
right? They confuse the skill set of being a great baker or a great, pro, a great, a great therapist or a great coach with the skill set of getting clients. Even the people who say they're good at getting clients <laughs> still need help with getting clients, the so skill set. Right, like, have you ever seen marketing agencies, right, which is good at marketing, suck at getting clients? Isn't that a dichotomy in and of itself, right? All right, mar shouldn't be marketing. Shouldn't marketing agencies be the best, the biggest, the highest revenue, the highest number of customers in the world? And why isn't that the case? Meaning, like, if you're in the in the marketing world, shouldn't you be the best? and be great at getting clients, right? So what, I, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, you know, the marketing agencies has two, those are two separate roles. Being good at marketing, the actual delivery of being a marketer, then it's the, how do I get attention from the marketplace about my marketing services? Those two are very separate skill sets, right? And I wish somebody told me, hey, get good at one thing, Right, whatever that thing is, ecom, writing books, writing online, being a Twitter ghost writer, SaaS, right, building software, being a, a, a programmer, whatever that the hell that thing is on this side, you do that, you get well good at that. Make sure you can actually do the thing, then get good at talking about doing the thing, getting attention, getting a follower, build a personal brand. If you marry the two together, that's when you create leverage and income beyond you providing the service. I hope that makes sense. I'm probably gonna make a few more videos about this topic alone because I don't think this is coming through in a way that I, that I thought it was gonna go. Uh, if you stuck around for this long, I thank you so much, I appreciate you. I hope that I'm being clear um, and I hope that you got some value out of this. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment below. Subscribe for more and um, uh, if you need to grab a hold of me, if you want to talk some more about these ideas and, and chat, talk it out, I'm more than happy to just drop me a comment and let me know and I will figure out a way that we can maybe connect further or, or chat. I have no agenda. I got nothing to sell you uh, um, at this point anyways. And I'm just happy to talk about this stuff and provide as much value to, uh, to you and just talking about what I'm doing. So hopefully that helps and um, I'll see you on the next video.